All right, folks, so we've got our uh, HP 290 Slim, and uh, we're going to get this thing open. I'm going to use this intro part of this in several videos, uh, mainly because uh, no sense reshooting some of this, but eventually we'll do videos on how to replace the RAM, how to replace the, uh, or how to add a solid state, how to change out the CPU, and... Um, We'll go through uh, the installation aspect as well, of setting up your SSD. So, quite a few videos, uh, hardware that I may use. We've got a number two Phillips head, a number zero, and then electronics uh, Phillips, which I'm not sure what size it is. Starting off, though, we've got this screw right here that uh, we're going to take out with... Uh, with the number two. And if this is like my HP Envy, it should just slide off, right? You would hope. So we may have to pry this thing open. Or not. There we go. Alright. So this is scary folks. There is a, not a whole lot of room in here. Now I had considered doing a installing graphics card. I think there's probably only one out there that we could use and that is the um, GT1030 uh, NVIDIA GT1030 otherwise this is not going to be upgradable so uh, if we tilt this over you can see there's a 4 gig RAM chip there which is a total joke um, your CPU is going to be under the CPU fan, and uh, this has a little uh, vent there to shoot it out to the back. Um, and then somewhere in here is going to be where the M2 is, possibly underneath all this crap. So, first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to take the front face off. This is a place where you got to be careful. Usually a cable or two connecting uh, to the power supply and uh, other stuff that's on the front. And come on, baby. Come on. All right, so there's the cable I was talking about, which... Um, and then it just popped off the CD-ROM, which is not uh, too big a deal. All right, so now we have to get this big pile of crap out of the way. So next we're going to... All right, so one other uh, piece of hardware. We're using um, a uh, one eighth inch... Uh, flathead um, these screws depending on if you have the original or not uh, this could be a uh, torque um, could be some kind of allen socket and you probably can't see that too well but uh, there's a groove in there so you can use a flathead otherwise it appears to be a one of the size of a torque screwdriver so And then we've got a couple of these in the front that we're going to take out. Now, if I was just going to change out the hard drive for a um, solid state SATA 3 style hard drive, all I would have to do is unbolt these guys. Not a lot of flexibility in this uh, computer as far as um, adding hard drives. And basically, if you bought this, um, make sure you're happy with it out of the box because you just don't have a whole lot that you can improve on it. And uh, get what you paid for. So in my case, I bought this used so that I could make some YouTube videos out of it for y'all. And that's what we're going to do, okay? 
So eventually we've got to get this whole pile loosened. And uh, it's coming out. We've got one more screw we've got to get. Or actually, we don't have another screw we have to get. Okay, so we've got some connectors we've got to disconnect. Get that out of the way. Another set of cable here. We've got to disconnect and get it out of there. All right, so that one there is, uh, we can keep it connected. So there is where your M2 would go. All right, so if you had an M2, you basically would come in here and do this deal. All right. They did not include any screws with the M2 that I bought. And I see there isn't a screw here. Now, for uh, memory purposes, we would come in here and this, uh, let's see what kind of memory was included. You'll want to match that up. It's probably the 2400 megahertz. Um, it, whatever the cheapest they could find was, I'm sure. Samsung, so it's actually a good brand. And uh, it's four gig stick. Huh, might actually be 2666. Well, uh, hopefully I'll note down below. And if you're watching this and I forget, remind me. I'm going to put a, a eight gig stick in, which is going to make a huge difference on this. And we're also going to go ahead and put in a screw on that M2. All right, so uh, normally I recommend a magnetic screwdriver um, to put these screws in. But um, this one's easy enough to access. So, And basically we're going to put that screw in there like so. And we're good to go there. Now... I'm going to uh, leave the hard drive disconnected. So there's two ways to go about this. Um, one, you can uh, basically do a recovery on your hard drive and then take the hard drive out and do the, or you're gonna back up the hard drive and then do a recovery to your solid state. But in this case, we're just gonna reinstall uh, fresh copy windows. So I'm gonna leave it uh, disconnected and uh, Later, I will actually uh, reconnect this thing uh, once I wipe it. So, we don't need the uh, CD-ROM hooked up either. So, for the time being, I'm just going to uh, pop all this crap back in here. So, we have that back in. We'll connect that later. Now, we do need the... Uh, the on button to actually work. Um, so we'll pop that back on. And we most likely will not need the case cover on to get this to start up, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it on there for now. Alright, so the next step uh, we will start installing Windows. And uh, this is interesting. So it looks like this has to come in this way first, or not. All right, so it helps to be gentle. But sometimes you got to use a little physical force. All right, so I'm going to screw this back in. And then we, uh, we will continue this uh, with me actually doing the installation.